check it out, man. We over here in Tractor Supply. I'm uh, over here by the deworming and stuff. And uh, I'm looking for some decent wormer for my dogs right now. I might have to end up getting, I got three dogs right now. Everybody know I got rid of Petrie. So Petrie got a nice home. I wish I would have been able to get that on camera for y'all. So y'all could have seen and met Petrie's uh, family that we uh, rehomed her to. So, um, but now I'm left with three dogs. I got Casey, Gus, and Megan still. So I'm looking right here. I might just grab two of these because they don't got my liquid warmer. So, um, hold on, let me turn it around for you. Yeah, so they don't got my liquid warmer that I normally get in here. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, work with, with this right here. And I'm about to go grab me some dog food, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button on the way in. If you haven't already, hit that like button for me. If you can find it, greatly appreciate y'all, man. Stay tuned. All right, for my diamond puppy people, you got an eight pound bag right here. You're looking at $14 for that. Come over here to your, um, what is this, a 20 pound bag? It's gonna be $24 for the regular diamond puppy. And uh, there's some uh, regular uh, adult dog food right here. Um, actually, it's high performance food. You're looking at $42 just to give y'all an idea of, I know that's one of the most uh, popular uh, brands other than this right here, Victor. And uh, you can see the tag on uh, the Victor right here, um, $69.99 right here for the Victor. So it's around about the same price for all of them. Got the brown bag, the red bag, green bag, silver bag, blue bag, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your preference is, whatever your dog is like. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm gonna go over here and check out this uh, Perina one, man. Y'all stay tuned. <coughs> all right, so right here, this is my Perina one. <coughs> if y'all familiar with me and my channel and my dogs, man, y'all know I pretty much keep them on this Perina one right here. Trying to decide right here between do I want to get him some lamb or do I want to get him chicken? It really don't matter. They both really good. 40 pound uh, bags of dog food. You're looking at $59 for that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just grab him the chicken. And uh, then I'm going to um, grab. I got a few more things to grab. So um, yeah. So I'm about to grab this, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right. So as y'all can tell, I got this big heavy 40 pound bag of um, Perina One right here, adult food. And um, it's a 40 pound bag, $59. And uh, I'm about to head over here to the cat food. So y'all know I like to mix my, my dog food with some cat food just to get some weight on my dogs. They've been losing a little weight. So, um, we're gonna get them straightened out right now, man. Um, this right here, I used this before, it smells real good. Uh, let me know if y'all familiar with this right here. I didn't use it before, it smelled real good for um, $9.99. I think I'm gonna grab a bottle of it just to knock some of that stuff down in the yard. As you could tell, you know, it's for dogs, horses, ponies for birds, uh, you know, anything basically that live outside. And it's gonna keep down all your ticks and fleas and whatever else you got. So I said, man, I might as well just grab some of that while I'm in here. I got it. You know, see, you can see they got different brands. That one right there, a little bit more pricier. But um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's real good, but um, this right here, man, I done knock flies down out the air with. So, uh, if you kind of on a budget with what, what, what you're doing, that's not too bad. $9.99, man. All right, y'all. So, right now, man, I'm looking at this bag right here. It's $13.99. Everything else is kind of kind of on the pricey side. Meow Mix. Um, I've learned that as far as the, when the cat food go, it ain't 
really, you know, that serious about, you know, what uh, the quality of the dog food, I mean, the cat food is. It, it all is gonna work pretty much about the same way. So to save myself some time and a headache, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm gonna just go ahead and grab the nine lives right here. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm looking over here. I don't know if I wanna grab some, uh, what you call it? Uh, some, um, this right here. I'm about to show you right now. Safeguard. So the safeguard is on sale right now for um, $12.99. As you can tell, that's the regular price right there. $12.99. I'm thinking should I get this now or should. I think I'm going to just go ahead and get it. But I might not have to. Cause that pretty much cover all the worms that they might have. Except for heart worms. And I think this might cover heartworm, but they call it something else. So it's kind of a little complicated, but uh, I think I might just wait and come back next time and grab this. But I just wanted to kind of show y'all the price and I was going to get it, but I think the worm that I do have should be good enough for the moment. So I ain't gonna really do too much. But uh, yeah, man, I'm about to pretty much check out and uh, let's get this stuff paid for, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Is out of the way. And I think I'm gonna go over here to this taco truck. I don't know if y'all can see this taco truck over here, man. I might grab me a few tacos just to hold me over to dinner time. Plus, I ain't never had these tacos before, so we're gonna see what it's going like, man. They got uh, plenty of stuff, but I normally just grab. Mexican style tacos, steak, cilantro, and onion with the lime and the, and the hot sauce. So, man, I'm going to go over there, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. All right, so I did get the, I did get the tacos, y'all. Decided to go ahead and get the tacos. So we're going to wait for a minute, grab our tacos. All right. Appreciate it. Take this cart, push it on back in the store. As y'all can tell, man, I'm just leaving out of this track to supply with the goods for my dogs. I meant to get them some dog treats, but uh, I'm thinking I might just go ahead and just go to Walmart probably tomorrow and get some dog treats for them. Um, and uh, get in some quality time with my dogs, man, and uh, go ahead and let them run around and give them treats as they throughout the day man i'll probably just spend like a few hours just hanging out with them man probably not today because it looks like it's gonna rain but definitely try to find time tomorrow to um spend time with my dogs and uh yeah so yeah man um 
we just now we just waiting on tacos and i'm gonna head to the crib and i'm gonna let y'all uh see the dogs and uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all open the dog food with me and feed the dogs today man they're gonna be pretty hungry so uh yeah y'all just stay tuned man hey y'all check out the jays man my man stepping bro stop playing with him y'all seen them jays them yellow uh whatever them was stop playing with that man yeah so if i could find time i'm a uh if i can find time man tomorrow if it's not raining too much because they say that we supposed to be looking at some rain for the weekend or whatever. So if I can find a good window in time where it's not raining, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, hold on, let me put my phone up, man. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some quality time with my dogs. I've been working hard. Haven't really been able to really uh, have no time to really like just hang out with them as much as, um, I would like to, cause um, I've been working hard, man. I've been doing 12, 13, 14 hour um, days at work. And um, shit, I don't even know if that's legal, but I've been doing 14 days and it's 15, I mean 14, 15 hours at work. And uh, I'd be tired when I get off, man. All I want to do is eat and, uh, and, and all I want to do is uh, shower, eat, and, and, and lay down, watch TV and, and go to bed. Like, I mean, I just, I be exhausted and um, normally when I first get home, it be super hot still. And I'll go ahead and change my dog's water and feed them and stuff like that. I know they're gonna be hungry today because I didn't feed them yesterday. And normally I'm, I'm always feeding them. When they can hear me, when I pull up in the yard, they already know it's time to eat when I come home from work. But yesterday I did not have time to feed them. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be starving and I'm um, pretty sure they're going to be very vocal about it. So I'm going to feel good just going um, back there, feeding my dogs, getting them together, making them happy or whatever. I got to rearrange some stuff around because, like I said, Petrie gone. So the blue female that y'all was seeing in the yard, she gone, man. So, and um, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm extremely happy about it because I know she, she's in a good home and, um, and uh, she was better off oh, over there, you know, with them, with, you know, people that um, they got kids, you know, the kids gonna love on her and stuff like that. I mean, I got kids too, but my kids uh, don't really deal with dogs as much as I would like them to. Um, the only one that, that really care anything about them, I'm just gonna go ahead and say is my boy Cameron and, and my boy um, Jacoby. Them two, they deal with the dogs a little bit here and there. But as far as like my other three, I mean, I'ma say Wheezy, Wheezy too. My my boy William, William, he he like dogs too. He can deal with dogs too, especially the puppies. But my other two, Amari and Kala, I mean, they don't really care too much for um, dogs or whatever. They more like they mom. So, um. I feel like Petrie, man, she, 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 she good. So it's gonna be a little easier for me to um, handle, um, you know, feeding and watering these dogs because it's not so many of them, and uh, you know, it's just so much easier when you got less dogs. And uh, yeah, I didn't want. I loved her, you know, but I just made the boss decision to go ahead and. Uh, rehome her. She didn't really fit in my program for for my look because, like I said, she's an American pit bull terrier, blue American pit bull terrier. So, you know, she didn't really fit my my bully uh, my bully uh, look that I was going for. So uh, we just gonna just um, keep it moving, man. We gonna we gonna keep. We're going to try to get some puppies out here, man, soon. I know I've been promising y'all puppies, but your girl Megan is in heat right now. I had a breeding plan for her. It didn't quite go exactly how I wanted it. So what we're going to do, we're going to skip another one. This is her third heat that she done. I mean, this is her fourth heat 
her fourth heat that she done been into. She actually turned um, three yesterday, uh, July the 6th. So um, she, she done had four um, heats. I'm gonna skip this one right here again. And then I'm gonna try again for a breeding with her. A natural uh, breeding, I ain't doing no AIs, no none of that. It's gonna be a natural breeding. And um, she gonna be, uh, it's gonna be on her next heat. So right now I'm just skip this one. And by the, the next time she have uh, her heat, she gonna be done drop them eggs. She gonna start some fresh eggs. And then we gonna get her tied up. Hopefully, we can get her tied up with a dog y'all ain't even seen yet, but y'all gonna see him. Um, his name is Bruno. And Bruno is fire, but when I say Bruno is over the top fire, he's a monster. He's mega gigantic head. He's short, but he's thick, and he ain't super small. He's like the perfect size for Megan. So I feel like, man, listen, the puppies that's gonna come off of that litter is gonna be something special man special so um y'all just stay tuned for that too as well man but um i think i'm just cut the video here man it's gonna be raining i'm pretty sure i'm quite sure of it by the time i get home it's gonna be raining so y'all gotta forgive me bro i probably won't show the dogs today but when i get out there with them tomorrow i will be getting some old uh some old stuff out here for y'all um as far as the dog people go and then as far as my gun people go I got some stuff coming for y'all too, man. Some real special things, bro, that y'all gonna be very, you know, entertained by. I'ma just say that. But I'm gonna go run back here and get my tacos. I'm pretty sure they done. I appreciate everybody for watching, man, and supporting the videos, man. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button for me if you can find it. And if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, bro. Cause, um, and make sure y'all go check out them old videos, man. I got a lot of good stuff, man, on my channel, bro. So please make sure if y'all ain't doing nothing, you will be entertained by my old videos. But like I said, man, I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Till the next video, we out. Oh yeah, one more thing, y'all. Got my tacos. I'ma let y'all try me. See me try my tacos, man. This is the first time I had it from this food truck. I'm a sucker for um, Mexican style tacos. I'm sorry. And uh, like I said, I ain't never had theirs. So we're going to give them a try right now. This moment, we're going to give them a try, man. This ain't no mukbang, though. So, so oh, that look good. Y'all take a look at this right here, man. What y'all tell me what y'all think, man. And it smells real good, bro. It smells really good. It got the grilled onions right here. Got my lime and my, my hot sauce, man. I don't know if I'm even showing y'all good, but man, that's the tacos right there. I see a little pepper right there, too. I'm about to eat all this, bro. I ain't even driving off yet, man. I'm about to eat. So what I normally do I take my sauce and uh, go ahead and drizzle my sauce. I ain't got my cucumbers. I normally got cucumbers and some red hot sauce. But today I just got the green. Let me go ahead and fix all of them up with the green, man. Instead of just being, you know, doing one at a time, fix them all up with the green. Boom. Take my lime, squeeze my lime down in it. Hey, look at this lime, man. This lime juicy, bro. Look at this lime juice, bro. I'm barely squeezing that lime. Look at all that juice coming out that lime, man. That's what you call the lime right there, man. So let me just throw that in in my in my in my little trash bag right there yonder I got. Squeeze me some more lime juice, man. Ain't no need in having this lime just sitting around. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fork all in the way, but it's hard to do this with one hand. So yeah, man. Let's give this a try, man. Let's give it a try. Let's see what's going on with it. Tortilla look real good. Let's see what we got. Mm. 
Not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I'll give them. Hold on, let me take one more bite. Scale to one to ten. Scale to one to ten, hey, bro. Mmm. One to ten. I'll give them a seven. I'll give them a good seven, bro. Got a little bit of fat. A little bit too much fat. If it wasn't that, I would have gave him a seven and a half. But a seven is pretty good, bro. Because I could have gave him a, a four. You feel me? I could have gave him a two. So, if you ever had Charlie Supply out here in Grays Creek, out here on 87. You see that food truck, taco food truck I just showed you? It won't be a bad purchase, you won't be mad. Seven out of 10, that's pretty daggone good. What would've made it better if they would've had my red sauce, my cucumbers on the side, and my, uh, I like the radish. The cucumbers and radish, I'll be eating that. Yeah, so. If I had the red sauce, and all that other stuff, I'll give him an eight. Feel me? I know it's gonna turn it up or not. You feel me? Let me see what this pepper tastes like, man. What kind of pepper that is, bro? If y'all familiar with this, tell me what kind of pepper y'all think this is. Looks to me like a kind of like a jalapeno. Let me see if it's spicy. Woo! Woo! That's good. Mmm. That's a good pepper. It's spicy. Ooh, that's heat kicking in. Oh my God. Y'all can see them seeds in it. It won't focus, but look, man. There's some seeds in that mud, boy. It got some heat to it. I guess that's where my heat comes from. Let me see. I'm gonna put some of these onions on my next taco. Put some of these onions, these grilled onions. Right here, damn, I'm making a fucking mess, ain't it? Put some of these grilled top onions on. Mmm. Mm hmm. And it's got a little sweet uh, hint to it, like they might have. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know. Got a little sweet hint to it, like. I don't know if it's the onion itself or what the onions was fried in, but it's pretty damn good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you now. Let's see what it tastes like on top of the taco. Y'all see the onions inside? Oh my gosh, we're making a mess, bro. Hmm. It's good, man. It's still a seven. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, man, I just wanted to show y'all the tacos, man. Like I said, I love y'all, man. Till the next video. For real this time, we out.